Hello everyone, welcome back to Epifana Dev and this is a full stock and Laravel videos application development tutorial series and we have been developing an admin panel for the blocks and we have come along and we are, are going to uh, install something really nice which is called editor.js in our project so yeah, yeah, uh, this is how the editor.js file structure is okay, it's all about JSON data and you need to build your HTML from these um, uh, blocks of uh, job, uh, JSON data so uh, the way uh, it works is like awesome okay you can you will be able to use that in your uh, mobile application or anywhere just using this text you can build your own custom HTML designs output okay so that's really great so in order to use that we will be using one of the plugins available for Vue.js community okay so this is called Vue Editor JS, and yeah you have to you can give a star and this is really simple good but uh, it's like some documentation out there it doesn't explain much so that's a problem but yeah let's go ahead and try it out ourselves and let's uh let's install it uh, in our project okay and if you guys have not subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe to this channel and please uh, um, uh, share this video and if you want to ha get a, a, a pre uh, free support you can join our uh, Facebook group and I will try to help you out as much as possible okay guys thank you so let's start uh, the project okay and then we can uh, run our project npm run watch and then we can open a new terminal and install this uh, a plugin so if you don't know how to, uh, this installation works uh, then I would like to tell you this is how you just need to follow the instructions given here so you just need to put that command and it will install uh, your plugins uh, in the node modules folder okay it's a really really simple way to do these things and then once it's installed what you can do is just uh, use that and yeah we, we, uh, we have to install it in our view entry point and uh, uh, if you remember what is the entry point of our VGS is that app uh, we need to go to the resources folder uh, resources and then JS and then app.js okay so this is the file we have so this is the file uh, which is the entry point and get compiled everything okay so we have to use it uh, here so let's go ahead and use that so we are importing this editor just from the node module folder uh, from the node module folders so if you hover over you can see the modules locations okay full stack node modules view editor this view editor you can go ahead and check your uh, your node module folder right uh, at the left panel so the, that's a uh, simple things it's not so much of rocket science here and uh, this configuration is for Nuxt.js so if you guys want to learn uh, Nuxt.js you need to know the Node.js I have another playlist available for Node and Nuxt okay so now let's go ahead and create um, a page called blog and then we will be assigning something and yeah we have to go ahead and check uh assign rule if we have a blocks page here so yeah we don't have any text category admin rule and blog we don't have any block page so in that case uh first of all let's take this thing uh let's take this home page at the top so that uh home page stays uh at top maybe and then what we have to do is after uh, text category we can have a um, new resources let's call it uh, uh, create blog so we will have different pages uh, for the blogs create and read so uh, what we can do is the create blogs and name can be create blog you can name it any way you want but I will name it this way and let's check it out so one thing you have to keep on your mind is that we have to use the name as the page name so that is one of the mm, uh, dependency we have to maintain otherwise the rule system will not work so yeah now we will make a route okay and we will make it here we can make it anywhere let's skip some spaces here okay perfect so we have the create block here uh, create block create blocks so everything is the same just we can do the some copy pasting jobs here create block create block yeah that is why I love uh, naming them all the same you just can copy and paste okay so you can name the way whatever way you want 
it's completely up to you okay we are inside admin panel and then we have answer answer the pages we will go ahead and create a new view file and that's all okay uh, what what we can do is that we can take a page and simply do some copy paste uh, job as well uh, okay mm, what is the simplest page out there okay rules page okay let's take these rules page completely and then paste it right in here uh, right in blog page okay that's uh, that should be nice and simple and then you can come here and assign rule we will see uh, assign rule text category admin user rule assign home we should uh, see one more item here uh, called blog I don't know why it's not available let's go ahead and check it out why uh, that is not available okay so we are taking the permissions from the server so that is one problem in that case what we can do is uh, we can it's just overriding okay so remember we are taking the ru uh, rules from the database and we have only four item uh, five four item actually so this four item is uh, not here actually uh, if I do one more refresh okay it's in the permission not in here so if uh, in our permission page we have uh, only six items there now we need to stop this overriding so how to do that we can go ahead in uh, yeah for now we can do it all come to later and here the permission is getting sent so since we have already developed this uh, rules module be be before even completing all the stuff so what we have to do is we have to send some null data yeah we can pass null and then it will be assumed as a, a new data new fresh data okay mm, i don't have any permissions set up okay that's again a problem now okay here we go it says uh, rest data zero dot permission so we will stop this uh, overriding and we don't have to mess around with our blade file anyway so let's remove this uh... okay here we go we have now home at the top category create blocks okay so we have the blog page here and let's give all kind of permission okay so we have to uh, actually give all the permission let's give all kind of permission to this user yeah that's a little bit annoying uh, to develop these things at the beginning uh, the rule system at the beginning because you don't have all the resources available so you need to extend your uh, rules and that's it that is a problem now we will I will remove this comment so that I can get back the data correctly uh, now I have the create blocks uh, working correctly or I have it in my in here so yeah that's a little bit annoying but yeah it works now what you can do is we can simply remove uh, editing things because we will not be editing this way anymore okay and we will also not have the delete take option here as well so let's remove all of them and yeah we don't need any created as well computed what we don't need any of them uh, simply because uh, we just need add uh, for the time being let's give this add here and yeah we don't need this to, uh, to import here as well that's nice and let's also remove all this uh, uh, data property from here as well and let's remove the data from here as well but we can keep it data and let's keep it as it is okay and we do not need any kind of uh, uh, table like this and also let's remove these models we don't need any models okay because we will be actually um, 
uh, adding it inside this page and we don't need this one so let's see how it will works together so yeah in order to show your editor JS page or editor JS things we have to use this um, component tag okay that's all we just need to do and okay and uh, the, the, there's some problem with this documentation is that I don't know how I, why but it does not work all the time but never mind let's go ahead and add this configuration files at the top here you go we have the configuration now and in points we don't need these things as well maybe we don't need this in point and for uploading images we only accept image so that can stay I don't know if we need any more configuration here but let's see how it uh, will work it's a little bit complicated at the moment any in data initial data Uh, let's give some initial data as uh, let's see if it works I don't know it will if it will work or not this is some data okay and let's say we're ready on change we don't need to track on ready or on change anything and we can track on save on save we can keep some method here on save let's see what we get here and let's load this console it might not make sense at the moment but let's see what we get response Ah oh, shit, response on save and let's make another method and let's call it save mm. let's go let's have an uh, editor reference uh, I don't know we can check whether it has some um, let's see what we have in the reference it's always good to check the reference okay now let's refresh it and see what we got and we got so much of errors cannot read property blocks on string okay let's forget this edit data it I think it expects some um, uh, just on data I think Okay, I am ready it says so it seems it's all working init data is not defined uh, Okay, let's define this in init, init data and Let's keep it null maybe If we don't have a JSON data structure Well, we don't have any error at the moment and we can see wow We have the edit just installed but yeah, don't be happy at the moment. So we have, uh, so don't be happy at the moment. We have good amount of tasks still yet to be done. And the beauty is that it's really, really super simple. You can make it one, okay? And yeah, you see, you can do a lot of stuff. Your design is readily available in uh, uh, in front of you. That's really simple. We can do some simple cool design but before we do some more uh, designing let's see what we can do here now so we can take uh, uh, we can take a button here let's take some button and see if we can get access to the data and let's click let's call save and save the data okay let's see if we click on this button what we get okay because this is one of the important features 
and it doesn't matter where this button is we are experimenting our mm, uh, that experimenting blah blah okay let's see wow we have these things uh, okay cool how do we get the data Hmm, okay, so this mean, let's see, we have something here, if code false, editor, T, blah, blah, it's so much confusing. You need data now, initial, on save, okay, we have some, uh, a save function, and it has some callbacks, so let's do one more thing here. Let's call this save, and see what we get. So if you call save, it will uh, run the closure function. Uh, calling save. Okay, maybe we need to call it as a method. Okay, here we go. We have the data now. That's uh, it's really really cute. And see we can see a promise here let's see what is the promise data now uh, okay uh, editor just response on save so that mean we have the data here so original data is this one blocks t you see data text we have written the text here this is the text and data type is text type is paragraph so we can do a lot of cool stuff with that so what we can do here is that let's see if it is since it is an um, if uh, async let's make it an async avoid uh, uh, since it's a promise let's oh it's this way constant I don't know what we are going to do I did it long a long time ago and I became a fan of this editor just and trying it again with you guys live and I will not make any editing with this video so bear with me guys it's like making a live video and yes it is real truly a kind of live video if you guys want I can make live video for you guys um, just let me know if you want to host any live video with me Okay, so res is this. Okay, cool. It is all cool, all right. Okay, let's check what we have here in the promise. But never mind. We also have get we got the data. Okay, so we let's make an H one now. H. We got the data, right? This is H one. This is a uh, P mean paragraph we can write it paragraph and then what do we have next we have a list list one list two and list three now let's save with this kind of data and what do we have here okay res is undefined uh, never mind we don't have any data here and but we have the response here okay so this when you trigger after editor.save then on save is getting called so once one save is called, it passes the data uh, in the JSON format, and this is the data we want. We want the blocks, okay? All we want is blocks, okay? This is some additional data, and we will be storing only this JSON data, okay? You see how we have the blocks first block, and we can see the first block, and it is a type of header, and header in maybe H1 header, it will also be defined. And then we have a paragraph type of paragraph, then we have a list, and in that list we have a an array of items okay so it's all about data so if we go uh, type here you see type level 2 and yeah type header level 2 that mean I use h2 tag okay so that's really really awesome and I used an h2 tag here that's uh, true we go the data is the text type is header and uh, header type is 2 h2 and then we have it that that type of paragraph and the text is this is a paragraph and the next uh, the last one we have uh, we have data 
and type is list and you know uh, list has uh, two type of list an ordered list and unordered list so we are having an ordered list one two three okay so that's why we are getting an orders uh, ordered and we have an items okay item has like uh, one two three items right so that's awesome guys right let's make some hmm I don't know if we have any yeah we have table you can make crazy stuff with the tables right it's super super simple and cool uh, let me do one more thing here since we don't have an, a white here and now let's check what we have if we remove the method function from here it's all about kind of experiments so uh, yeah okay it uh it doesn't make any sense so i think uh you just need to call that uh on save function that is the only task it does hmm. okay that's uh that's okay that's cool and um, we can just do blah 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 okay no we don't have an access here uh okay we, i need to call it as a method okay that's nice okay so if this works in the next video i will uh, try to do some design stuff here we have this data and uh, if i yes we have this data and now we can actually lock the original data instead of uh, uh, having a string with the uh, at the beginning we can simply just uh, get this data right so this data is uh, everything everything we want and then in the next video I will try to do some designing stuff and then we will make sure we have the correct block uh, creating setup is done and then we can go ahead and see how we can add the blog edit the blog and actually publish the blog okay uh, blog okay and then I think we will move on to the uh, front end very soon, okay? Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and save, um, uh, share this video with your friends and buddies. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys. Have a nice time.